As a result of a looming global terrorist threat, the government of major countries created a coalition called the Mercenaries. The Mercenaries participate in various special operations, such as hostage rescue missions, combat operations, liberation of terrorists, <clears throat> VIP securities, and so on. Their actions during operation and combat are recorded through various means, body cams, location tracking devices, and house sensors. The recorded data is later analyzed by the special task force within the coalition. Mercenaries VR is a single player with a Valve Index, HTC Vive, and Oculus Rift. Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Paul from VR Asylum. I hope you guys are all doing well this week. Today we're checking out a new game on the Steam Store as well as the Oculus Store called Mercenaries VR. So this is a single player shooter as I mentioned at the beginning of the game. I also mentioned that this is for the Vive, the Index, and the Rift. Sorry Mixed Reality users, I'm hoping they come out for that or this game with that system soon. Okay, so if you're unfamiliar with the channel, the way we do it is we do some gameplay. After we do some gameplay, give you guys a general idea of what the game looks like, and then we're gonna tell you what we think of the game. After we do that, we're gonna give it a rating with our five straight jacket rating system. All right, so without further ado, why don't we slip into the VR Asylum? We put out two videos every week on gameplay reviews like this one as well as product releases and VR news. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that bell icon before you guys take off today. Okay, so what did I think about this game? One word actually comes to mind when I think about this game and that was 
is hard. <laughs> this game is extremely difficult. Is One of the missions unfair. took us a day and a half to get by. So it, if you know anything about reviews, typically I like to get through, if not the whole game, the majority of the game to give you guys an idea of what the graphics are like, what the gameplay is like. In this one, I don't even think we got close. I don't know how many missions there are in this, but we think I think we got to five, maybe six missions because of that second mission or yeah. third mission or whatever the heck it was. After that, it got a little bit easier, but as you can see in the video, we're on our bellies, we're on our knees. Uh, I mean, I hope you guys got strong good. backs and strong knees forward. because you're gonna need it for this game. <laughs> It was a lot of fun, this game. It was very realistic. You only have a finite amount of health and very little room to move. If what? you get hit twice, you're dead. And you only have five or six feet on either side of you, game-wise, to move. And when you have three or four, maybe five guys shooting at you at the same time, especially when you only have handguns, and you have to be accurate. You can't just start shooting. You will die. These guys are accurate. So it was a hard game, but realistic and a lot of fun. And for that reason, I am going to give it four straight jackets out of five. Again, this was a fun, fun game for $11.49. It is well worth your money. I am highly recommending this game. It's the best single player shooter I have ever played for that amount of money, 100%. So make sure you guys pick up this game if you can. Thanks very much for watching VR Asylum. I hope you guys are all doing well in these crazy times and we'll see you next time on VR Asylum.